Welcome to the 93rd edition of Make Pro Wrestling with Jessica again. I am Tiger Height. And I am still the champion, Peanut Gallery. And we are finally going to be catching up on our pay-per-view list. Yep. Let's start off with Osaka. Overall, I'm giving it a full thumbs up, at least on my end. Yeah, I'm doing the same. It was fine. I watched it after Battle in the Valley, though. And right. So I, I felt like it played second fiddle to oh, that. Order, order of Operations was a little yep. skewed because of the schedule for February. Yep. But we're back on it. So this was our first matchup, which was Oscar Lube and Toru Yano taking on Aaron Hinare and Greto Khan of the United Empire. I'll give an Orange Cassidy yeah. thumbs up. I, I enjoyed it. It was it was a first match enjoyable thing. Right. It wasn't the worst curtain jerker, but it wasn't like go out of your way and watch it right. sort of thing. Um, I... What are they? What do they want here with Great O'Conn? I don't Sometimes know. Sometimes they book him really strong and continue to do really well, and then he's doing this. I don't know. It's very strange. Yeah, it is of their juxtaposition here with Great O'Conn. I I just don't know. It's like, do they have they given up on him? Have I don't they know. Not? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how merch sales are moving in Japan. So I'm not sure if they determine it based on merch. I don't know. I don't know how Japanese wrestling does it. But overall, it was fine. Um, it was a fun, but it was a short match. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. And it was Rampage for the United Empire to win. At least the Empire won. Yep, that's true. So, good thing there. Uh, Rasuki Taguchi, Shota Unimo, Tiger Mask, and Tomoaki Homa taking on Los Ingobernables de Japón. Mm. Again, this really was a... Orange Cassidy thumbs yeah, up. It, it, we all know why this happens. We all know what's going on. Right. <laughs> with, these are, with, these are with, the... Uh, with, uh, you know, with, with everything with, with LIJ. It's just like, it seems like they're just four individuals that happen to be together teaming. <laughs> well, and even then, there are more than that. You right. know, because we're not even thinking about Shingo. We're not thinking about Teton. We're not thinking about right. the other members of LIJ where they used to be like... A group. very cohesive sort of faction, right? right? And now they're just kind. Of, you're right. They're just four very unique individuals, just right. kind of there. Right. It's very strange. Yep. But you know, factions move up right. and down. They move all around, and especially after Suzuki Gun left, they need teams. Right. But so. overall, it was a fine match. It was well paced. Yep. Uh, Leo Rush challenged Hiromu for the junior heavyweight champion. That will happen at the. Uh, New Japan Cup Finals, yeah. So that's pretty good. I like how they're kind of pushing Leo mm -hmm. on that end. But overall, it was time bomb two for Hiromu to pick up the victory on Taguchi. So at least they didn't bury Shota, right? And once again, is is Shota the next guy? Are they? Do they want right. to do something we with don't him? Know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this was our first special singles match, which was, was Master a very Wado. special singles match. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> Master Wado and Taichi Ishimori. Mm. I don't like this mom haircut that Master no. Wado is rocking. It is very not okay. Yeah. Uh, he needs to do something with that. Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs to not with this. He just needs to not with the um, Japanese mom haircut. It was it was a fun match, but once again, Master Wado just doesn't feel like that star yet. Right. I, he's, maybe, very, he's very young in the industry, so let's right. give him some time. I know. I'm giving him some time, but special singles match. Orange Cassidy thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, Taichi Ishimori won with Bloody Cross. At least the right person won That's within true. this. Kenta and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Eh. Once again, you saw this after you saw Battle in the Valley where Kenta had a great match right. with Fred Rosser. He is a champion. And here, they had a good match. But once again, we've seen it. Right. We've seen we, this before. We've seen the hardcore match right. that they had. There's no, no disqualification, which was brutal. And I liked it. But at the same time, let's... I know why, because, you know, Kenta kicked out some teeth from Hiroshi, and it's like, oh, I get it, you know, two front teeth gone, but it's like, is that, does that constitute a match, like a structured know. match? This would be the time to have a hardcore match, right. not the one before, because, oh, it's a tit for tat, instead of, oh, let's do rest holds. It was just very strange, mm -hmm. but it was high fly flow for Hiroshi to win, Yep, obviously, not surprised there, but Kenta didn't look buried, he right. didn't look bad. But it was there. So for the never open weight six man tag team champions and House of Torture had to defend the championships or else they would be stripped. Obviously, House of Torture took on El Desperado, Minoru Suzuki, and Ren Narita. If and they're forming a new, they formed a new faction. What is it called? I don't know. I don't so, remember. I don't remember what it was called exactly. But 
here we are, Minoru Suzuki. He decides he wants to disband Suzuki gun, and then and then he reforms another faction. But then, this one, I feel like, is a little more intentional, so I like it. Right? They want to do. It's just not huddled together. Right? They want to do something with Ren. Yes. And obviously, aligning him with someone like uh, Minoru Suzuki and is a great the El way Desperado, to do it. Yep. Yep. and them being around him with six man tag is fine as well. Yeah, but you know, House of Torture, and you know, it kind of lost its its. Nobody liked the House of Torture, right? I don't think anybody. It, it lost its, its its lost its feel, I guess. You yeah, know? it's like, do you realize at all that they are members of Bullet Club? Like they mm. are Bullet Club. Yeah, no, that, that is no, they are like legitimately at this point. I think the only members of Bullet Club that are left in New Japan Pro Wrestling. I mean, there, I mean, there are a lot more, but at the same time, these are the ones that I guess they only care about. And it's like, okay, why? Right. Why even have Bullet Club around at this point? Jay right. White's gone. Who's who's the leader now? If I'm not mistaken, it's going to be evil because right. he was the leader during the pandemic era, right? But, uh, because Jay White couldn't technically right. be there. But 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 you it, have you know but Ace, but, uh, but, Ace Austin and um, Chris Bay. They're a team. They're in America, but they are members of Bullet Club, right? Um, you have they're, they're just Chase bullet, Owens. Yeah, but they're they're just in name though. They're not even like why did you why did they let go of Suzuki Gun but not Bullet Club, right? That doesn't mean well because Bullet Club sells merch, right? <laughs> well, I mean, do they still though? I mean, they're they're Bullet Club is pretty much dead in the water. They haven't been in anything significant in Japan in a long time. Does it matter? Well, I mean, they're they they uh, just had a world champion reign. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. But at the same time, Jay White wasn't like all Bullet Clubbed out either. Right. He was it's just it was just Jay White, right. you know. But anyway, uh, it was an abdominal stretch for the new team to win. It was an okay match. Yeah. I'm digging the story with Narita and Minoru. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like they're looking at Ren, but New Japan, don't put too many irons in the fire because right. then everybody's going to feel the same. Right. Uh, Ren and Shota and mm -hmm. what's going to happen with Yuya when he comes back right. from Excursion. Unless he's going to stay in Impact Wrestling for a while. But I just I don't see that happening. So it is what it is. I thank God the This is one of the good matches. Oh thank God. Uh so Hikaleo and Jay White, loser leaves Japan. So this was not loser leaves New Japan. This He's is loser can't leaves wrestle in Japan. Right. Um I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I oh, thought yeah. it was a good match. Uh, I like the story going into yeah, it. Story, like it was a good story. Story was good. The pacing was good. Yep, and it's a great way to get rid of Jay White. <laughs> yep, and then also to build a new star with Hikaleo. Right. But at this, you know, but once again, there's already rumors that Hikaleo and the rest of the Gorillas of Destiny are leaving New Japan for WWE. Well, yeah, but I is that really going to happen? Right. You know, is it, that going to be something down the road? Right. Like even later on this year? Do you we not don't know? I'm I'm just worried that they're gonna push him so hard, yep. Hikaleo, and then Hikaleo's going to be gone. Right. You know? And who knows how far they're going to push him. Who right. knows? Exactly. But it was a choke slam for him to win. It was fine. The story was good. The action was good. It all just really worked. It did. So I'm very happy that that happened. El, um, El Phantasmo challenged Chamatanga for the Never Openweight Champion. It was a very good match. Mm -hmm. Is Phantasmo still a junior? Heavyweight, right? I don't know. I don't Be think. I, actually, I don't think he is anymore. The the New Japan structure for heavyweight and junior heavyweight is so it's weird. weird. It it's is very weird because not everyone in the junior. Well, everyone in the junior division is a lightweight, but not everyone in the heavyweight is, lightweight is not. Not everyone in the heavyweight right. division is a actual heavyweight. Right. Like Shingo, his because they have a weight limit. Shingo and El Phantasmo fall underneath that weight limit criteria. Right, but they're not part of the junior heavyweight division. They're part right. of the heavyweight division. It, it, it makes me feel that the junior heavyweights are not as significant when it's like, you know, sometimes they have better I mean, matches. That's, that's, just, that's just Japanese wrestling for you, that's though. That's so weird. I just, uh, I no. don't get it. Now, if it was like, oh, uh, uh, developmental going up to Maine, right. that makes sense. Right. But no, it, it just doesn't. Uh, it was a J-Driller for Tonga to retain the champion. Uh -huh. Once again, Thumbs up. Yeah. A good story all the way around, and they played into it quite nicely. And finally, our main event, Kazuchi Okada defending the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion against Shingo Takagi. Two thumbs up. Oh, absolutely. But, but again, it's a match with Okada. 
You are not going to have a bad match with Okada. Th- that is, those are <laughs> those are facts. I don't think Okada has had a bad match since he became the Rainmaker, and there's right. a reason why Okada is one of the highest paid wrestlers in Japan right now, if not the most right. high, the most uh, the most paid. Yes, yes, the highest paid. Sentence and words are good. Yes, they are good. But uh, I mean, Okada's not going anywhere. Right. I mean, his wife works at one of the news stations there, and they just had a kid. Like, the, right. he's not going anywhere. Not anytime soon. No. And Shingo, one, once again, he's technically a junior. Is he a junior? I don't know. No, he's, he's a lightweight, but he's not a junior heavyweight. He's built so weird. I know. He's, I, he's, know. he's a very top-heavy wrestler, but it's like he's smaller. Mm-hmm. It's like Tomohiro Ishii. Right. It's like he's built like a mini fridge. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like his torso is huge, but yep. then he has like Somebody, somebody just put a snowball on a mini fridge. That's right. literally what it is. But anyways, <laughs> uh, it was it was a good match. It was. I liked it. It was Rainmaker for the win. Um, I thought the Osaka show was good overall. Like yeah. I said, I thought there was a lot of great action. But I watched it. I watched it after Battle in the Valley, and right. really, you know, you can't compete with Battle in the Valley. No, that was just a really good show. <laughs> it was. So uh, that will wrap up this one. When we come back, Peanut Gallery. Well, you had to change your heckle. I did. I was I was gonna talk about um uh what's that guy's name? Ariel uh Ariel Hawani. Ariel Hawani. But of course we had a very significant event happen this week in the newsletter awards, so we're gonna talk about that when we come back. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 